Wow, I did not know about that. There's a surfing school here. Nacho! Did not know about that. Very, very cool. And I want to show you guys up here. I've never seen this before. This is the coolest boat launch I've ever seen in my life. Check this out. So this is how you launch your boat in Spain, in the south of Spain, in Andalusia. Look at that, you just have a bulldozer and brings it right to the beach to launch it. And if you wanna bring it back here, you put it right here. There's your marina behind me. Wow, this is, this is so different than what I'm used to in Michigan. Fantastic. Well, they did have like a forklift to put them in the water, I remember. They had something like that. We had the mask rod again behind me, so. Coming by, they have a group of people telling you to put the mask on. Quite interesting, but these people here don't have a mask on, I don't know. So they just went by me. So, it looks like you're gonna have some more, another boat going out, I can't, gotta film this. I cannot wait to see this. This is how they put you in the water right here. I love this. Looks like they're waiting to come in here, a lot of people. That's the coolest marina I've ever seen. You got the bulldozer brings you in and brings you out. So fantastic, love it. So simple and so efficient here in, in the south of Spain. This is so cool, I've never seen it like this. So you put your boat or your jet ski in this basket, and then the man takes you out, he launches you right in this, with his big tractor. So off you go in your jet ski, I love that. And then you got another person coming up here. Looks like they're gonna pull into this basket and he's gonna bring them into the marina. Never seen this ever anywhere. Wow, this is so cool, I love this. That's an awesome beach. So, so cool, wow. Fantastic way to, to launch your boat or your jet ski. That's why I love to go out exploring. You never know what you're gonna see. Look at this man here. <laughs> and he's giving me the thumbs up. I just love it, look at that guy. He's having a, a heck of a time. Look at that, they put you right in your, in your little spot there. I love that, I love this marina. Oh my god it's it's so simple but it's so genius so if you had told me that i was going to see this when i woke up today i would have said you're crazy but that's the that's the pleasure of exploring of traveling and just exploring new things wow never expected to see this today but i love it i love it so i've come to some kind of barrier here i have to go down and around it looks like okay not a problem that marina, that's so great, look at that. And I can't imagine it's that expensive to have your boat there or your jet ski. 
There's actually a bridge here. Let's go up this bridge. Let's see what we can see up here. Love it. And there's that marina behind me. Love that. Just love that. Wow. I'm sure it's going to be a long video, but we're having a lot of fun. And I'm glad you could come along with me on this little exploration. So that's what it looks like behind me. We got the road here. I saw some buses coming up there. There's actually a bus picking some people up there. Maybe taking them back to Malaga. Don't know. I love how those people are just, just waiting to be, to be brought in by that giant uh, bulldozer, that Volvo. Love it. I don't know if anybody's seen that anywhere else. I've never seen that. I've seen the ones with the, like the forklift, taking them off the rack and putting them in, in the water. I've actually seen that. We have that in Michigan. But I had an uncle of mine that had a boat at a marina there. That's how they used to do it. Take it off a big rack, bring it out, drop it into the, into the river or into the lake. So kind of similar, but this is really, really cool. Just drag it up there in a basket. Why not drive it in there? Very, very cool. I'm not sure why they don't drive it in in a low speed. Maybe he did. I didn't watch him in the boat. Just drive it in there at low speed. Boom, I had a jet ski. I, I love that jet ski. I used to have a jet ski in Michigan where I'm from. And it was a Kawasaki. I love that Kawasaki. Wow, I used to take it all over the lake. I used to take it a lot further than, than these people are going. Way almost across the lake. So it was so much fun. So much fun. Another nice little bar here. Maybe time to stop for another drink. Seems like I'm on my... Here we go with a nice little... Is that a Suzuki? Wow, that's a Suzuki. I had a Suzuki like that when I was in Chile. Almost the same. I think it's almost similar. Is that an AN? This is a Bergman, it says. Okay. I had an AN or AN, they called it. AN. I think I had a number after. I don't remember. 65. It was very, very similar to that one. So that was nice. I used to keep that parked in front of Ricardo's mini market. In Vina, in Vini del Mar. Hi to Ricardo. Hola, Ricardo. Como estas? <laughs> I used to have it parked out in front of there. Wow, those are the memories. I wish I had some, some video of my time in Chile. I don't. That would have been so nice. I actually have a few, few tiny videos that I had with my phone. And I was thinking about putting that together maybe one day, showing it to you guys. So you just get a snippet of what life was like there. So what do we got here? Chirche. Ah, this is... Okay, so this is Playa de Chirches. Yeah, the man was saying we were in... Uh, Chirche was the next one. So, it's the station. So, the station of Chirches. So, here we are. And look at that behind me just uh just a ton of people enjoying that enjoying that now what is that that is taped off there that is the the bus stop is taped off what they taped off the bus stop now i mean what what is going on here you can't even take the bus now what is that they have the bus stop taped off like prohibited i have to i have to take a look at this I mean, is it broken? I mean, what is that? There's some people walking a, a little boat up to the, looks like to the, to the sea. Why would you have this taped off? Why? Why would this bus stop be taped off? What is going on here? I don't understand this. I don't understand why this bus stop is taped off behind me. Someone could explain that to me. It's just broken or there's no more buses going i just don't i don't understand that i saw one going back the other way but there's a walk definitely i can go further up here
If I keep going, we might have to be in the third part of this episode. It might be dinner time. Okay, so why not? I'm the travel addict guy. I never shy away from a challenge. And I have to walk some more, obviously. Look at this. No bus. You see the bus stop closed. We can't get on the bus today. So, gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. And that's with your feet. One foot in front of the other. So obviously I'm off of some kind of highway now. And there's a Mercadona there, I see that. Can always go to Mercadona, that's one of my favorite grocery stores. Kind of blocked out by the sea behind me. That's kind of blocked off. So I believe I'm in Chilche's now. I've never been to Chilche. I think I've passed along here going to Nerha. If you keep going, if I kept walking and walking and walking for several hours, I'd probably end up in Nerha. So this is between Rincon de la Victoria and Nerha. So I'm in Chilche's. And that man in that bar way back there, he told me where I was gonna what I was gonna run into, I don't remember exactly. He said Chilches and then there was something after it. So I love a surprise. Love, love, love that. Don't see any, any mask police out. Don't see any more. I saw groups of them. I'll have to say at least they were just warning people, not giving us a ticket. So that was nice. They got like a white shirt. They go in a group. It was like three of them saying, put your mask on. Which is so funny because people all around me with no mask, but then I have to wear the mask, so... I don't know. Just be polite, follow the rules when asked, and I just said sorry. I'm a dumb tourist, so... There we go. Okay, crossing a bridge now. Love that. Some people fishing. Got some fishermen up here. And this looks like even less touristy than, than where I was. There's nothing. I don't see any chiranguitos. I don't see anything. I see some fishermen. I see some rocks. Definitely some people fishing here. Maybe this is where the chiranguitos get their fish. Hola, buenas. Oh, lots of fishermen here. Very, very cool. So you got some people fishing, some people swimming. You got a little bit of everything. So I guess this is Chilche's. I believe that's where I am. Never been here before. A lot of people fishing here. This must be a... Uh, a good place to fish. You see that man behind me, he's casting that that line out. Wow, they have a lot of talent to do that. I know they bring it back and they whip it out. And the one man told me one time, I was near them when they were fishing, he said some people, they use so much force to throw that weight out that if they don't know what they're doing or there's actually been people like killed by getting hit in the head with that weight when they bring that back and they swing it so you got to be quite careful so i stay away from those guys when they're fishing like that but that seems to be a rarity but they seem to know what they're doing but he's told me the one man one time an old spanish man he told me that there's been people killed hit in the head with that like in the temple and you're dead right there from that <laughs> force of that weight they have that weight they bring it back with all their force you just saw that man like two hands and then they wow they whip it and I mean you get hundreds of yards of if you do it right you get hundreds of yards of distance off that off that throw one bad throw though and you're near that person and boom and that's it so give those guys a lot of distance if you see them fishing like that 
I think, like I said, most of them have done that for a long time, so they know how to do it, but just what I was told by a Spanish man. Camping here, wow, camping. So I see nature is something like that. I don't know exactly what that is. And I saw some camping. I saw Torre Blanca. So I think we're close to Torre Blanca, which is White Tower, which I've actually been there before. I had a friend, uh, I think, is it two years ago now or a year ago? I was there like last summer with her, a Russian girl, a Russian friend. And we were in Torre Blanca. But I don't think I had the YouTube. That must have been two years ago because I don't think I was doing YouTube at that time. So yeah, it had to be like two years ago actually. Yeah, that was two years ago when my family was here. Because I started the YouTube channel after that. So maybe she's watching now. Hi to you, Olga. How are you? So glad you could come along with me. Another adventure. I hope you're feeling adventurous today. Travel at it guy adventure. There's another tower up there. So will I make it all the way to Torre Blanca? I don't know. There's some places to camp, so I guess if I have to, I could camp here. Maybe pay him, I don't know, whatever and get a place to sleep. It's not that cold now, so I could actually sleep on the beach or near it if I have to. Then I'll probably get a bus going back. I'm sure I will now. I'm not going to walk all the way back. It's quite a few kilometers now to, to Malaga. So a few more rocks here along the highway. And you can see behind me how much further I've gone since I started. So I'm just a walking machine, I guess. Love to do that. Don't see any chiringuitos here. No more chiringuitos. So no more beachside restaurants. But I do see a lot of people sunbathing and enjoying this late afternoon now. When I left, it was early afternoon. Now it's late afternoon. So Pretty soon we'll get to see a sunset. I think I have enough battery. I hope I brought an extra one. A lot of footage today. Saw a lot of interesting things. Had a nice lunch. Wow, I don't see any kind of chiringuitos. Maybe the other side here, there's another, you have a little road here. So maybe there's a restaurant, but I don't see any more chiringuitos. Okay, so crossing the street, I asked this old Spanish man if there's any bars he said this is a store but he had everything he said they have drinks and I guess they have beer too so i can't wait to try this maybe we'll end our episode here looks like he's cooking too so ah, i see they have like a okay so they have like a a bottle of beer or no a can a can of beer okay i see what he's saying uh, that's not quite what quite what i was looking for i was looking for a a restaurant? Ah, well they have a little place here maybe. Is this part of it? Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay, this part of a little place here to enjoy a beer, looks like. Here's a stray Galicia. Gorgeous Vespa, I love that. That's a nice scooter there, a Vespa. Classy, very, very classy. So that bar... Well, actually, it wasn't a bar, it was a store. It was not quite what I was looking for. I was looking for a little bar, actually. To have a drink, maybe. Or another chiringuito. I think I'm on the wrong side of the road now, obviously. I don't see a place to cross. Some beautiful houses behind me. I don't know if you can see that. Now there's a fence there. Well, I have no idea where I am. I guess it's still Chilches or maybe the next city. I don't know. Are you chiringuito aquí? 
Ben Harafe. Ah, vale. Okay, so the man told me there's a chiranguito in Benaharafe. Ah, that's what the man had said. I remember Benaharafe. Looks like you could go under that bridge there. Maybe I should have gone under there. I can still go back that way. Let me go back this way and go under this bridge. Okay, so I'm gonna go under this bridge and I guess I'm close to Ben El Harafe. So let me see. Another beach here. And some graffiti next to me. Some graffiti along the wall here. And some people looking at me very strangely like, who is this guy with the camera? Crazy man just showed up. At first it was kind of, you know, I was like, oh, I don't know, I'm filming, is it okay? But now it's kind of funny to me. You show up with the camera and people just looking like, whoa, where is this guy coming from? Who is this guy? Because I don't think they get too many tourists in this part of town. So that's okay, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Places off the beaten path, if you like that, then you need to follow me subscribe and all that goodness travel at a guy you can see these kind of crazy out of the way places that I take you to that no tourist treads on normally oh boy here we go back on the road again on the road again just can't wait to get back on the road again okay here we go Across the street we have some. Here's a bar finally. So I'm on a road now. There's no more. The beach road ran out, ran out there. So we have to cross carefully here. I don't even see a place to cross. But there's a bar there. Asador Bartolo. Okay, some people crossed up there, so I was able to, to cross the street, so I don't know if I'm in Benaharafe, I'm not sure the name of the can, Benaharafe, I'm going to find out. So this is a, like a griller, grilled chicken it looks like. Well, you got Toro on the wall here. Like this place. And you got a wild boar, looks like. A setter, though. Look at this. Wow. Ugly looking one. Look at that. Wow, I haven't seen that before. I've seen the the Toro, the bull, but I haven't seen the setter, though. The pig. So there it is. That's the wild one. So they got something going on here. They're doing some grilling. Grilled meats. Wow, that looks like some real grilled meats there. Very, very nice. Fantastic. We're still in Shirche, so I'm going to have a beer here. And they look like they have some amazing meat here. Wow. And they have some, they grill the meat, so this could be a good place to come if you like grilled meats. So that's the Torre de Churches behind me, the Churches Tower. So I don't know if it's famous or not, but that's what we have there. So trying to find a bus from Churches to Malaga. It's a little bit of a challenge, it looks like. This road is quite busy, I don't know why. I think I'm gonna have to go back to, to Torre de Benagabon or to Rincon de la Victoria sun is starting to set I had a full day along the Mediterranean here maybe show you a little bit of the sunset and I'm gonna to try to get back to to Malaga where I live
So hi everyone, I walked all the way back from Chilche. I'm back in Torre de Benagabon. So glad you could spend a day with me. Glad to show you this beautiful sunset behind me. Look how gorgeous that is, fantastic. Wow, can't wait to come here again. So had a beautiful day, so glad you could join me. I'm gonna head on back to Malaga now. So fantastic day, beautiful sunset behind me. Great place. Hope you're doing well. See you in the next episode. Travel Addict Guy. Take care.